Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you episode 2 of the college football playoff series, the 10-team college football playoff, I should say. What we're going to be going ahead and doing, guys, is we are going to be doing episode 2 in game number 2. Now, if you guys remember, in the last game, we went ahead and we did Clemson taking on Texas, and the winner of that game was Clemson by a score of 75-43. to and Trevor Lawrence and Sam Allinger both dominated, but Trevor Lawrence didn't get the upper hand. And essentially, guys, the second game we're going to be doing is going to be a two versus nine matchup. It's going to be Alabama taking on Notre Dame. It's a two versus nine, as I said before. Essentially, guys, Alabama has the big advantage at a 97 overall and a 97 offense and a 99 defense. And Notre Dame, I believe, is only a 90 overall. Now, the reason why I didn't show you guys the matchup screen and all that is because I didn't do my syncing up kind of practice, or basically I say just one, two, three, and I move, uh, I basically move the controller. Wait, hold on. One, two, okay, there we go. So, anyway, I didn't do that, and I didn't want the gameplay to be not synced up, so... I'm going to go ahead here. I just did it here. So now we're going to go ahead. Alabama versus Notre Dame. 35 degrees at home for Alabama. So here we go. We're going to super sim. We're going to skip ahead right to the end of the game. So here we go. Notre Dame gets the early lead. 6-0. Alabama gets a safety. 9-6 here. Notre Dame gets a field goal. Alabama field goal. Alabama touchdown. Notre Dame gets stopped. Alabama with another touchdown. Alabama seems to be running away with this. 26-16 now, 33-16. Now we're in the second half here. 40-16 Alabama. And it looks like, yeah, they're going to win this. 47-16 for Alabama. 54-16, 61-16. And we also got 68-16, 68-23. It's really lacking. 74-23 is going to be your final score as Alabama beats Notre Dame by 51 points. So we're going to take a look here quickly at the scoring summary here. So we are going to check here. So in the first, you know, in the first half, Notre Dame was actually keeping the game kind of close here. Alabama scored 19 in the first, then 14 in the second quarter, 21 and 20 though in the third and fourth quarters. That's when they really ran away with it. Notre Dame scored only nine points in the first quarter, seven in the second quarter, and then four points in the fourth quarter. So didn't do anything in the third quarter. That's why they really kind of suffered. And honestly, guys, Alabama's an insane team. So that's, you know, nothing to be ashamed of. Moving on now to the team stats category. We're going to see here that 34 first downs for Alabama, 891 yards of total offense compared to just 491 for Notre Dame. Moving on to rushing yards, 357 for Alabama, only 27 rushing yards for Notre Dame. Alabama had five rushing touchdowns along with five you know five passing touchdowns compared to just two for Notre Dame and Alabama had a higher completion percentage we got to passing yards there's actually not even that big of a difference here Alabama yes they do have around a 70 yard advantage pretty close to that but still Notre Dame did pretty good 464 passing yards for Notre Dame and 534 for Alabama Alabama was 77 percent on third downs 100 percent on fourth downs two big conversions they didn't go for any Moving on to red, the red zone here, 8 for 7, or 8 and 7 for Alabama out of 15 attempts. And then Notre Dame was 8 and 3, I believe. So that's a really low percentage. And Alabama got a turnover, no fumbles lost, one interception for Alabama. And actually, Notre Dame got more kick return yards at 127 total yards. Alabama absolutely dominated 1,000 total yards. And Notre Dame only got 622. And that's pretty much it. Time of possession, Alabama 37 minutes, 24 seconds. And Notre Dame only with 22 minutes and 36 seconds. Now we're going to move on to the individual player stats. And here we go. So to a tongue of Iloa and even 500 yards, a 77% completion percentage, five touchdowns, one interception. Moving on to Notre Dame, we had, oh, wow. Okay, so they actually brought in another quarterback. And Ian Book actually didn't do too bad. He had 441 yards, two touchdowns, a 56% completion rate. And this guy, Phil Jerkovic, who's a 79 overall quarterback, freshman, red shirt, 23, only 23 total yards. But then again, he was two for three. Now we're going to move on here to the rushing game for Alabama. And as you can see, Najee Harris and also Brian Robinson Jr. dominated. Najee Harris, 38 attempts, 146 yards, two touchdowns. 
And then also Brian Robinson with 100 or, or yeah, 184 yards, 13 attempts, two touchdowns. His longest run was 80 yards in 134 yards after contact, two rushes for more than 20 yards, six broken tackles for both Harris and also Brian Robinson. We're going to move on now to the rushing game for Notre Dame. Nothing really too big. Tony Jones Jr., 23 yards on 14 attempts and a touchdown. His longest run was 8 yards. All right, guys, so now we're going to go ahead. We're going to move on to the receiving game here, and we're going to move on first to Alabama. So, Derry Judy with 10 receptions for 159 yards and a touchdown. Moving on here, we got Henry Ruggs with 110 yards and a touchdown. We got Devonta Smith with 109 yards, no touchdowns. Also, Jalen Waddell, Najee Harris, Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, and also this guy right here, Tyrell, Sh Tyrell Shavers, did get a touchdown. Moving on here to the longest reception was actually 43 yards for Devontae Smith. And then yards after catch, actually, Jerry Judy had 63. Moving on to average here, yards after catch, Jerry Judy had 6.3. And then Jalen Waddle is at a 5.5. Now we're going to move on to Notre Dame, and as you saw... Then we got Chase Claypool with an incredible 12 receptions, 199 yards, and a touchdown. Also, this guy, Michael Young, 9 receptions for 117 yards and a touchdown. Their longest reception was 27 and 23 each. Yards after catch, Chase Claypool only got 26. Young got 45. And then the average, 2.1 for Claypool. And then also 5 for Michael Young. And also, this guy didn't do too bad here, Chris Fink. Got only three receptions, but he did get 48 yards, a longest reception of 21 yards. Now we're going to move on here to the defensive stats. And as you can see, Jack Lamb had an incredible game. 19 total tackles, two TFLs, a sack, no picks. We also got this guy, Asmar Bilal, with 16 total tackles and no sacks, no TFLs. And then we also got this guy, Sean Crawford, with 10 total tackles, the corner, no TFLs and no interceptions and no sacks as well. Moving on now to the TFL leaders, jo Julian Oguara only had five tackles, but he made him count here as he did get two TFLs and a sack. And then we have talked about Jack Lamb. Moving on here, we got Myron Tiamosa, the defensive tackle, one TFL, and then also we got this guy, Jeremiah, and then also Jason, both got to one TFL. Moving on to sacks here, only one sack for both Oguara and also Jack Lamb. Moving on to picks here, and then as you can see, Alohi Gilman, who is the strong safety? The 97 overall got an interception. 30 return yards. What we got here to force fumbles. No force fumbles for anybody. And I don't believe any defensive touchdowns. And I believe someone got a safety. I'm not sure. Anyway, now we're going to move on to Alabama here. And we're going to sort by the highest tackle rating. So as you can see, Josh Job, the corner with 12 tackles. We got Terrell Lewis with 11 tackles, 5 TFLs. Then we also got this guy, LeBrian Ray, with 8 total tackles, 4 TFLs, and a sack. Moving on to the highest TFL numbers, Terrell Lewis got 5, LeBrian Ray got 4, 2 for Raekwon Davis, and 1 for Ben Davis. Moving on now to sacks here, only 1 sack, and that was by, by LeBrian Ray. Moving on to interceptions here, nobody for interceptions. We're also going to take a look at the forced fumbles category, 1 forced fumble. For Afrony Jennings, but he did not recover, unfortunately. Then also moving on to safeties. I know somebody got a safety. It was Terrell Lewis. And then defensive touchdowns. I don't expect anybody to have defensive touchdowns. Now we're going to look at the kicking stats to end it off here. Will Reichard went 1 for 1, a 49-yard field goal, 9 for 10 on extra points. Moving on to Notre Dame here, 1 for 2 for Jonathan Doer, 50% field goal percentage. And he did get 45 yards as his longest field goal. And he was two for three on extra points. So, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like, trash smash five likes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Peace out.